Hello, my name is Keith Stanley, Executive Director of the Near West Side Partners, a community and economic development group here in the city of Milwaukee. Today, I am joined by a special guest. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Kelsey Otero. I'm Associate Director for Social Innovation at Marquette University. I also co-chair the Commercial Corridor Working Team, and I'm a part of PARC. Uh, Kelsey and I have done this before several times, so there's a couple of video videos you may remember uh, Kelsey being in. Kelsey, but for the audience who may be seeing you for the first time, just give us a brief background. Who is, who is Kelsey? Well, I do a whole <laughs> lot of things. I wear many, many different hats. At Marquette, I work on trying to think about how we help students and community members mm -hmm. grow their social ventures. Mm -hmm. um, from the near west side, I care a lot about economic development mm -hmm. um, and uh, helping people start businesses and wanting to think about how they start their business in the near west side. And real quick, uh, so people are just familiar, can you talk a little bit about the Social Innovation Office, um, your role there? I know that's, that's, you guys have, are really leading in the city, if not the state, some of the social innovation projects that people see across the city. Yeah, no, we're really working within Milwaukee and across the state now mm -hmm. on, and growing social innovation as a platform for people who mm -hmm. want to start a business or a nonprofit to think about the impact they're going to have and how they have revenue streams that they can continue to generate long-term sustainable impact um, in the area of their social or environmental issue that they're working on. So uh, let's talk about your role within PARC. You started with the Neuroside Partners at the very beginning. You've been involved. Can you talk about some of your na major initiatives and programs you've done with the PARC program and the Neuroside Partners? Yeah, I feel very fortunate because I feel like I've seen it from the get-go when we had training wheels on um, and now we're riding a two-wheeler. <laughs> Uh, Rev Up is probably my favorite initiative, hands down. We're getting ready to go into our third round of Rev Up, which is amazing. Um, our From our first year's competition, our winner, Pete's Pops, is yes. going to be opening his storefront this year, which is just awesome. Uh, we're super, go Pete! Super excited about that. Um, and then we're working with um, our first place winner and our runner-up from this past year's competition, and they will hopefully we'll have some bigger announcements coming soon about uh, their new Near West side locations that. and we're getting ready like I said for year three and seeing you know who's interested in opening a storefront who's that next generation that wants to yes. come to the near west side so that's a big one uh, last year we started a farmer's market uh, last year we also started mobile design box which is going strong I think we've done four or five gallery near uh, Milwaukee gallery nights now that's we're right. getting ready in April to do another big one with our first pop-up restaurant which I think will be the first of many pop-up restaurants which is exciting so, uh, so oh my gosh I think it just keeps like as more and more opportunities come to us and more and more people are interested in how they can get involved in commercial quarter development there is no shortage of opportunities what have, have been some of the challenges you think um, as we look at the near west side look at our commercial corridors Wisconsin Avenue 27th Street 35th Street State Street what are some of the challenges you see within the near west side uh, Commercial quarter development and economic development is slow. It's a slow moving animal in many cases and it doesn't happen overnight. I think a lot of people think that just because you can get big developers in a room or people who are really passionate and care a lot that, you know, snap your fingers and all of a sudden 27th Street will be yeah. revitalized or Wisconsin Avenue will be brought back to its grandeur. And good things take time to happen. And I think yeah. we need to really understand this idea of having some, some patient capital um, and patient social capital as well, um, so that when we, as we transform our commercial quarters, we're doing it sustainably, and they will be transformed for the long haul, not for something that will, you know, be a quick blip and moment in time. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what we're focusing on is how do we think about creative interventions, um, some creative placemaking. Mm -hmm. Creative placemaking. Can you explain to the audience who may not be familiar with creative placemaking what that actually yeah, is? Yeah, I think the best example we have in the Near West Side is the mobile design box. We mm -hmm. are looking to do a couple of um, really cool activations of some vacant spaces in the Near West Side this coming year as well. But currently our mobile design box, which is on 27th and Wells, it was a vacant storefront and and a small team of folks came together and said, how do we creatively activate this space, change the perception on the street, and give people a an opportunity to display their artwork? We have a lot of people who are residents as well as youth within the Milwaukee community and Near West Side community that are now have the opportunity to display their art there. It's a really positive intervention, and small interventions like that 
over the course of time start to change perceptions. And our goal ultimately with Mobile Design Box and some of these other uh, placemaking initiatives is to get kicked out, to have something more right. permanent move into that location. Um, Real quick, two more questions as we begin to wrap this up. First question, um, what are you passionate about when uh, with your involvement with parks? And Love that question. Two things. One, seeing entrepreneurs' dreams come true. And then the other thing that I'm really excited about is that there's an opportunity to really creatively think about how we engage the community, engage a number of different stakeholders, and, and create really positive change that will be sustainable. What, is, what do you believe, you can only pick one, is your mm -hmm. most exciting moment within the Neuroside Partnership? Rev Up MKE last year was um, just there were over 300 people that attended. Um, it it tipped the scales for us in terms of looking at businesses that wanted to come to the near west side, and everyone else who felt like they had a stake in helping yeah. to decide who these businesses. The energy was palpable. It was at the rave. It was just so exciting, and it yeah. totally has kept me energized for a year, wanting to get ready for the next <laughs> Rev Up MKE. And there's not much that I can say that just like keeps you going on a high for a year, um, like wanting to see new businesses come into the near west side. I enjoyed it. I was the MC for that <laughs> event. It was absolutely amazing. The energy, the excitement in the room. And I just want to say publicly, Kelsey is an amazing individual. She's worked really hard to really do a great job doing the work here with the park program and the near west side partners. So we appreciate Kelsey, your support. We appreciate the Social Innovations Office support, and we appreciate Marquette University. I love it. It's a great team, so happy to be part of it. Uh, thank you, uh, YouTubers and Neurosliders. <laughs> we will see you on the next video.